10 Tips to Stop Translating in Your Head Hello, my friends, how are you? My name is Jimmy. Today we will discuss about 10 tips to stop translating in your head. If you're like most people studying a new language, you've probably found yourself translating everything in your head from your target language to your native language and back again. Trust me. I've been there, and it can be a real roadblock to fluency. But don't worry. In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 powerful tips to help you break free from that translating habit and start thinking more naturally in your new language. So grab a pen and paper, get cozy, and let's dive in. Tip 1. Immerse yourself. The first and most important tip is to immerse yourself in your target language as much as possible. Surround yourself with native speakers. Watch movies and TV shows without subtitles. Listen to music, read books, newspapers, and online articles. Anything that exposes you to the language in a natural, authentic context. The more you immerse yourself, the more your brain will start to think in that language. For example, if you're learning Spanish, try watching a popular Spanish language TV series like La Casa de Papel or Narcos without English subtitles. At first, it might be difficult to follow, but stick with it and you'll gradually start picking up more and more. Tip two, practice speaking out loud. When you're practicing your language skills, make a conscious effort to speak out loud even if you're alone. This will help your brain associate the words and phrases with the physical act of speaking rather than just translating them in your head. It might feel silly at first, but trust me, it works. Try narrating your day out loud in your target language or have conversations with yourself in the mirror. You can even try reading out loud from a book or article. Just make sure you're actually vocalizing the words, not just reading them silently in your head. Tip three, learn vocabulary and context. Instead of memorizing individual words and their translations, try to learn new vocabulary in context. Read or listen to the words in their natural environment and pay attention to how they're used by native speakers. This will help your brain associate the words with their actual meanings and usages, rather than just their translations. For example, if you're learning French and you come across the word rendezvous, don't just translate it to meeting or appointment in your head. Instead, read or listen to examples of how it's used in context and pay attention to the nuances and connotations that might be lost in a simple translation. Tip four, use language learning apps and games. There are so many great language learning apps and games out there that can help you practice your skills in a fun and engaging way. Apps like Duolingo, Babbel, and Memrise are great for building vocabulary and grammar skills through interactive exercises and games. Apps like Tandem and HelloTalk can connect you with native speakers for language exchange and practice. In games like WordSoup, Hangman, and even Scrabble in your target language can help you practice in a more relaxed and enjoyable way. Let me give you an example from Duolingo. One of their exercises might present you with a sentence in your target language like Elle aime les pommes, she likes apples, in French. Instead of translating the sentence word for word in your head, the app will prompt you to match the words with corresponding images or audio clips, helping you associate the words and phrases with their actual meanings. Tip five, think in images and concepts. Instead of translating words and phrases in your head, try to associate them with images, concepts, or experiences. For example, instead of translating the word apple to your native language every time, visualize the actual fruit in your mind, its color, shape, texture, and even the crunch when you bite into it. 
This technique can also be applied to abstract concepts or idioms. Instead of trying to literally translate an expression like, it's raining cats and dogs, visualize the actual imagery of animals falling from the sky during a heavy downpour. This mental association will help you start thinking more directly in the target language. Tip 6. Listen and repeat. One of the best ways to train your brain to stop translating is to listen to native speakers and repeat what they say. This can be done by watching movies or TV shows with subtitles in the target language or by finding language learning resources with audio components. The more you listen and repeat, the more natural it will become. For example, you could find a podcast or YouTube channel in your target language that talks about topics you're interested in, like cooking, travel, or current events. Listen to a short segment, pause, and then repeat out loud what you just heard. Mimicking the pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm as closely as possible. Tip 7. Keep a language journal. Keeping a language journal can be a great way to practice writing in your target language without the temptation to translate. Start by writing simple sentences or paragraphs about your day, your thoughts, or your language learning journey. Over time, your writing will become more fluid and natural. Here's an example of what a journal entry might look like in Spanish. Hoy fue un día muy ocupado. Fui al trabajo por la manana y luego fui al gimnasio después. Estoy cansada pero feliz porque aprendí algunas palabras nuevas en español hoy. Today was a very busy day. I went to work in the morning and then I went to the gym afterwards. I'm tired but happy because I learned some new words in Spanish today. Tip 8. Find a language partner. Having a language partner can be incredibly helpful for practicing your speaking and listening skills without the need for translation. You can take turns speaking in your respective target languages and correct each other when necessary. This real-time practice will help train your brain to think more naturally in the language. You can find language partners through apps like Tandem or HelloTalk, or even join local language meetup groups in your area. If you don't have access to native speakers, you can also try finding an online language buddy through sites like Converse or Italki. For example, let's say you're learning German and your language partner is a native German speaker learning English. You could spend the first 30 minutes of your session speaking only in German with your partner correcting your mistakes and helping you find the right words or expressions. Then you can switch roles and spend the next 30 minutes practicing your English together. Tip nine, be patient and persistent. Breaking the habit of translating in your head takes time and effort. It's a process and it won't happen overnight. Be patient with yourself and keep practicing consistently. Every time you catch yourself translating, gently remind yourself to think directly in the target language. It's also important to celebrate your progress along the way. Learning a new language is a huge accomplishment, and each time you find yourself thinking or speaking more naturally, give yourself a pat on the back. Celebrate the small victories and use them as motivation to keep going. Tip 10. Surround yourself with the language. Finally, one of the most effective ways to stop translating in your head is to surround yourself with the target language as much as possible, both physically and digitally. Decorate your living or workspace with post-it notes, labels, or signs in your target language. Change the language settings on your phone, computer, or other devices to your target language. Listen to music, podcasts, or audiobooks in that language while you're commuting or doing chores around the house. 
The more you expose yourself to the language in your daily life, the more natural and automatic it will become to think and process information in that language without the need for translation. For example, if you're learning Italian, you could put sticky notes with Italian vocabulary words or phrases around your kitchen or bathroom. Or you could set your phone's language to Italian and try to navigate the menus and apps without reverting to English. The more you immerse yourself, the faster your brain will adapt. Conclusion. There you have it, my friends. 10 powerful tips to help you stop translating in your head and start thinking more naturally in your target language. It might take some time and effort, but trust me, the rewards are worth it. Remember, language learning is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to your goal of fluency. So keep practicing, keep immersing yourself, and most importantly, have fun with it. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more language learning content. And as always, feel free to leave your questions or comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy language learning.